Utah Red Rocks coach Marston once called her one of the top gymnasts in the world. She has won 10 total medals at the USA Gymnastics National Championships and has plans for the 2021 Olympics. This is what Michaela Skinner has been up to beyond the U. Skinner was born in Gilbert, Arizona. She has three siblings, two of whom are former gymnasts. Skinner has competed in several world championships, world cups, and NCAA championships. In 2015, Skinner announced that she would defer a year before coming to the U to concentrate on making the 2016 Olympic team, where later she was named an alternate. Once becoming a Ute, she has won 43 events her freshman year. The next year, she hit all of her 54 routines without a fall. Her junior year, she recorded the second highest vault and floor exercise scores at the NCAA championships. In 2019, she announced her comeback to elite gymnastics and her plan to make a run at the 2020 Olympics, now taking place in 2021. Obviously, the main goal when you're in elite gymnastics is to be on that USA national team. And I think I started elite when I was about just turned 13. And so, you know, my main goal was always to be on the Olympic team. I, my, I first made the junior national team I think when I was like 14 or maybe 15, I was on that for one year and then moved up to the senior national team. Um, so it's definitely just something that you want to do. You want to get on that team because once you're on that team, that helps you go to international competitions. You get to compete for Team USA. And then your main goal is to try to make worlds, which is every single year except the Olympic year. Doing a lead at such a young age, we kind of have been so disciplined and like we know what hard work is. Like even when the days are tough, like we still just, kind of know how to like bust it out and get the job done. The three-time Utah MVP deferred her senior year with the Red Rocks to compete in the Tokyo Olympics, joining 2016 teammate Simone Biles. I just kind of had like that burning fire desire to like, just like, I just want to be out there. Like I was so close. I was almost there. I almost made it. And so when I was kind of thinking about coming back for this next Olympics, when I was going into my junior year, I kind of just went back to that that feeling that I had just sitting there watching like, you know, like this is what I want to do. I've always wanted to go to the Olympics. And so it was kind of hard, you know, leaving the college scene and, you know, telling Tom like, hey, like, you know, I think I think I'm going to go back. Um, it was it was it was hard and it was stressful, but I'm glad that I made the decision. It's been really fun to make this elite comeback. Training for the Olympics hasn't come without its hardships along the way. Skinner has a bone spur on the back of her foot and has done shockwave therapy to let it heal. As soon as her foot started to recover, she was diagnosed with COVID-19. It left her sick for two weeks and then later hospitalized for pneumonia. So I went to my mom's house. I had like a mental breakdown and I was like, I just don't feel good. Like, I don't know if I can do this. Like my body hasn't recovered. I was like, I just want to give up between my foot, getting COVID, like, I'm still not feeling good. It's been over two weeks. Skinner said she was nervous about how her body was going to recover from COVID, but the two week rest let her foot heal. Thanks to muscle memory, the seven time USA national team member went to camp in March and scored a 15.2 on the vault. I'm glad that I went to the camp and kind of showed them that even though I had COVID and pneumonia, I was able to do this in four weeks and to get all this stuff back. So. I'm pretty close to like getting back to normal. It's just my endurance is the hardest thing. Gymnastics is not always full of the glitz and glam. The 26 time All-American goes through her own struggles and feels like giving up at times. It's the little voice inside her head that pushes her to keep going. You know, deep down inside, like you really do love gymnastics. Like gymnastics is probably one of the hardest sports and it is grueling. It's blood, sweat, tears all the time, but I think, you know, once you go and you succeed, you, you compete and you win those medals and you're up there competing for Team USA and like you like achieve like that biggest dream you've been dreaming about ever since you're a little girl and you just get up there and you nail that routine in front of thousands of people. It's just like, it's just the best feeling ever. And you're like, well, this is why I do it. This is why I love it. Skinner holds the Pac-12 record for winning the Gymnast of the Week award 16 times. She has the chance to win a few more of those awards as she has one more year of eligibility left with the Red Rocks. 
Her goal is to come back to Salt Lake City and finish what she started. Going in the Huntsman Center with 15,000 fans supporting you and cheering you on and being with that team and getting so hyped up and wanting to try to win a national, you know, NCAA championship. Um, you know, that was always my main goal when I was there is I really wanted to help lead the team to get to one of those. And obviously there's so many times that, you know, we were so close, but obviously weren't quite there, which was devastating at times. The two-time Pac-12 All-Academic misses her teammates and coaches, but they're cheering her on every step of the way. It was, like I said, it was kind of hard to like leave Utah and to like, you know, tell everyone like I'm leaving, you know, like I kind of felt like I was letting them down in a way, but like they all kind of knew that it was a possibility that I might be returning. And so they were mostly just very supportive and were like, you know, you do what you want. Like, this is your life. Like, you know, you can come back to Utah after the Olympics because I still have my last year and so they're like you just go do your thing like you know they know that I love doing the big skills. The Red Rock community isn't the only one supporting her. Her own family has been by her side every step of the way. It's just been it's been hard but it's been fun and it's just so great to have all the support from everybody. I think that's really what's kind of helped me be able to push through this and you know like they like everyone has said to me they're like you know whether you make it or not like you're still amazing and you know we're going to support you through it all like it's going to be hard we know that there's a chance you're, you you could make it and a chance you might not make it but no matter what happens we're still going to love you on behalf of the U and short sports we hope to see Michaela on our tv screens this summer competing for a gold medal in the Tokyo Olympics <laughs>